good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world right now. Um, glad to be with you today on this uh, nice holiday weekend. At least we have that in Canada. I'm not sure what it's like in the States right now. But I'm here to announce two things. One is the winner for practice challenge week one, and then to announce the subsequent challenge for week two. So for any of you unfamiliar with this, I started a, a practice challenge last Monday uh, that I'm going to be doing over the summer just to help people have some extra motivation, a little project to focus on in the week. And what I did was I, I shared eight bars of music from uh, Prokofiev's uh, Romeo and Juliet, and the movement was Juliet as a Young Girl. The first eight bars, a fast scale passage with lots of intervallic leaps. Uh, and I just wanted to see what you all thought of it and um, you know your different interpretations, all that kind of stuff. I saw some great videos, uh, really excited to, to see what I did. Uh, and some, I learned some different position choices that people were doing, which I thought was interesting. Um, so I was excited about that. So thanks for participating for everyone who did. Now, the winner is going to win um, a free piece of music from Gordon Cherry. It's a selection of Brahms studies that he arranged uh, for, uh, for the trombone. So the winner of these Brahms studies from Cherry Classics is Eric Larson. Eric, congratulations on your winning. Thanks for participating. Um, everyone else, uh, these names are drawn randomly by a random name picker. So um, if you have a chance next week, it's not based on uh, skill set. This is simply about getting people engaged. Uh, and what I said last week, or yeah, throughout the week, is that this is not really about perfection per se. I really want you to feel like you can make progress and feel challenged throughout the week. So uh, if you would like to participate, download uh, from the link in my description here and send me a direct message with the video. Tag me if you want uh, in a post or in your story. Put it on YouTube. doesn't matter to me. Just make sure I see it. Um, so... This week's challenge is from Romeo and Juliet, young girl as a, uh, Juliet as a young girl as well. So don't worry, it's not always going to be things that I recorded, um, but I thought this was a fun contrast to week one, um, where there's, it's a really beautiful lyrical passage, involves some big leaps in a lyrical style now, not a, not a disconnected style. So I'm gonna play it now, and then I'm gonna give a few tips for any of you students who uh, would like them. section or one of them from Julia as a, as a young girl. Now for a couple of tips. My first tip is musical and that is envision the original instruments that would be playing this. Prokofiev scored it for the orchestra, right? So in uh, this arrangement, which is awesome, thanks Charlie Vernon for that, um, it, I think it helps to think of the color of the instrument um, or the amount of instruments that are playing. So we start here with a cello solo, right? So you want to get the color of the cello, the feeling of the cello. Then we move to saxophone, uh, which is not our everyday orchestral uh, solo, but in Romeo and Juliet, it's heavily featured. So that's a completely different sound world, a completely different timbre and emotion there. And then we go to the string section as a whole. So kind of um, find a way in your mind to, to picture these different sounds and try to get it to come through your bell. Um, now, I have um, downloads on my site for all this music. It's 
for tenor trombone. I also have bass trombone, euphonium, and tuba PDFs available as well. So not just trombone players can take part in this. Now, a couple uh, extra tips. Um, technically speaking, rely on the wind. Active wind constantly. Because you need support to get through these phrases. Uh, not only the length of them, but just the vast um, you know, interval leaps and all that kind of stuff. So rely on corners that are really firm and an anchor point. Now for most of us players who are playing in the downstream style, uh, your anchor point is going to be right here. Um, so that allows you to have a little bit more connection right there under your lip, but a little bit more freedom in the top, which helps you navigate these big uh, leaps. Uh, so that applies for the pedal A flat, applies, applies for the E later on. Um, and envision this low note, uh, these, you know, these licks coming out of the low notes, as it's a springboard, right? Fill the low note with air so you have enough support to um, continue onwards. sound quality is so bad. We're on my iPhone. Sorry about that. Um, but hopefully in future weeks I'm going to get slightly better sound. We'll see. My little attached mic uh, doesn't work well with uh, streaming and all that kind of stuff. So that is challenge week number two. Thanks for joining in on week number one and I'm excited to see your videos for this coming week. So have a blast and send me your stuff. Uh, can't wait to choose winner from week number two.